All right, let's get started with your networking universe. We're going to go through these eight steps from registering to joining a leads group. All right, step one, register. You want to go to yournetworkinguniverse.com slash register. Put in your name, your email address, your password, read the terms, and click submit. And then look in your inbox for this email and click on the confirmation URL. That's going to open a new browser page where you put in your email address and your password you just set up and click sign in. That's it. We are done with step one. That was pretty easy, wasn't it? All right, moving on to step two is your profile manager. The link that you want to use a lot in this page is the view public profile because public profile is how people learn about you and know about you and know how to find you. Right now, the system only knows your name, so this is pretty bleak, isn't it? No contact information, no picture. I know, it's boring. We're going to fix it. Here's some ideas to make a great public profile page. First of all, have a good picture. You want lots of contact information so people can find you. And on the left, you want bullet points. Think about your ideal customer. What are the words they're using for their problems? Somehow incorporate those words in these bullet points. If you're going to have paragraphs about yourself, keep it short and again, use terms that attract your ideal customer. With Dawn, she has the bullet points, she's kept her information about herself to a minimum, and she's even included her LinkedIn information here so somebody can go straight there and find her. Some people unfortunately still have public profiles like this where there's not even a way to find this person or contact them. I know it's shocking and we're gonna fix it. So go into this page. At the bottom is all your contact information. You need to make sure this is filled out. Your phone number, your website, your email address, and click save. That is going to feed into that public profile page. All right, we are done with step two. Let's go into edit your profession. You want to click on Edit Professions. And one thing to keep in mind are these little gold boxes you're going to see. Click on those every time you see one because it's going to give you valuable information about how to get this step done. And you really do want to read through that. So with this one, you're either going to pick products or services, but if you happen to offer both, the only profession option that it will give you is cross chapter lead passing, and that's okay, so pick that if that's if you offer services and products. Okay, now that you've done this, we can go to and edit your business. So go back to that main page and click edit businesses. And here's where you're gonna put in your business name, your title. Your profession will now be an option because you just inputted it, so it'll be there for the drop down, your business address, but it's the top information that gets carried into your public profile, and then some of that other information gets carried into this page, which is your chapter uh, group information. You'll see on the right there it says cross chapter lead passing, that's because that person offers both services and products. So make sure all of these things are spelled correctly and um, have great detail. Now here's where we're going to link your YouTube, your Twitter. Click on social profiles and pick which one you have set up and you can link to. And in that little gold box you'll find that the only thing you need to make sure of is that it contains the whole URL including the HTTPS. Alright, do a little dance and moving on to step six, public profile. You're going to actually click on the blue box at this point, and this is where you get to put in your quote, your tagline, your bio, your bullet points, and we're going to be able to add your picture at this point. Also at the bottom is show email, show mobile, show phone. Perhaps you filled that stuff out in the past, but you hadn't clicked those buttons, and that's why it's not showing up. Now if you 
have a photo that you want to add, the one thing you'll find is that it has to be a certain size. And if it isn't, this is the easy way to do this. Go to pickmonkey.com and click edit. Find your picture and then you're going to click on resize. Make sure the minimum size is 500. As long as it's 500, you're going to be okay. Hit apply and then you're going to click save. And then you're going to choose where to save it to your computer. I always save it directly to my desktop and then I can move it later. But that way when you go back to your public profile, it's right there on your desktop and you're going to click save and all of a sudden you now have information. You're going to have your tagline, you have a picture, you have lots of uh, ways for people to contact you. All right, join a leads group. So now this is our last step already. You go back to that main page and you're going to click join a leads group. Make sure, well, all this information is already set up because you've already done all that. And that's going to then take you to your questionnaire. And you might have already filled out a questionnaire depending on your group. They might have had a, a paper one for you to fill out. But you're going to fill this out and you're going to hit submit. And you'll be hearing from your president soon. And look at that.